Looking to avoid the price tag of a brand new dining room table? Turning a door into a table is a great upcycling project and is fairly simple to do. But just to give you a bit of a teaser, here's what we've already put together using 710 by 10 mm hairpin legs from Galmar. So let's get started on another table. For today's project, we'll be using these classic raw pine table legs. For stability, we'll need to attach the pine legs to a frame. We'll be using a pocket hole jig and screws to assemble it. The dimensions of the door allow for a table that is 50 centimeter on the end and uh, 150 centimeter long runners. And then we're gonna use some corner blocks just to help attach everything together. So we're gonna be using a pocket hole jig to drill uh, accurate angle and depth hole for the screws that we're going to be using to attach to the legs. The way we're going to use this is we're just going to clamp the jig to the piece of wood where we're going to screw the hole. Just going to set it back a few millimeters and then clamp it on. And we'll put uh, three holes on each end. So as you can see, the drill has come in at an angle and stopped at a fixed depth. And then this is where our screws are going to go in. All right, so now we are ready to attach the frame to the legs. We are using solid pine legs that will match this frame. We are going to use uh, 38 millimeter timber screws for attaching these. Cool, so just to ensure that these legs will be parallel, I'm gonna put them both down on the table before uh, fastening the second leg. All right, so let's assemble the next, the other side of the table. Yeah, I'm just fitting it into the center of the leg and making sure that the plank is flush with the end of the leg. Cool, both ends are done. Now we can add the long runners and attach the ends together. Cool, now we are ready to add the other end. Cool, so that's our frame complete. Um, I'm just going to also add a few uh, corner blocks here as a preference, uh, just to add a bit more stability to the frame. I cut these corner blocks on a mitre saw at 45 degrees. These are each uh, 18 centimeters long. All right, the frame has been fully assembled. Next step is that we're going to stain the, the frame to match the top that we're going to be using. So before we do that, we're going to have to just sand the, the whole frame lightly uh, so that the stain can have a nice even coat. Um, I'm going to use the foam sanding block on the legs, on the, especially on the uh, rounded pieces. And then I'm going to use an orbital sander on the flat areas. I'm going to go with a 220 grit. Uh, sandpaper because it's already been quite well sanded before. All right, we've just finished sanding and now we are ready to stain. Um, we're going to stain outside and just put a plastic sheet down so that we don't get stain on the surfaces outside. While the frame is drying, we are just going to work on the tabletop. Uh, we're going to fill in the holes where the lock used to be and any other holes so that we can make a nice tabletop. 
I'm just gonna start with a block of wood to fill in the mortise hole where the lock used to be. Then after that, we will use some acrylic wood filler. We've filled in the, the lock now, and we are just gonna have to wait 24 hours for the wood filler to, to fully dry before we, can, uh, before we can use it. But in the meantime, I just want to add a little bit of stain to where the finish has worn out. I'm just gonna wipe down the excess finish and then add a bit of satin lacquer. Great, we're now ready to attach the, the top to the base. I'm gonna use these corner blocks that we got from Galmar. I'm just using 16 millimeter screws to fit the corner blocks on. I'm gonna put six corner blocks around the table, just evenly spaced. From using another colour stain to changing up the type of table leg you use, you can get as creative as you like. For more DIY solutions, visit Galmar in-store or browse online.